Hello and welcome again to another video on number theory. So we're going to talk about an introduction to prime numbers. This is going to be a very basic uh, video on prime numbers. So uh, this is going to be the plan for the lecture. So we're going to look at the definition, some examples, how you get a list of prime numbers using PartyGP or look at that online. Uh, we're going to talk about the largest prime number as of May 2020. And I'm also going to give you an animation on the digits of that large prime number. Uh, I'm going to give you a list of large prime numbers or where you can get it online. And we're going to talk about an important theorem. For the parts of the largest prime number, I'm also going to give you an idea on how large this number would be. Okay, so prime numbers are one of the most important concepts in number theory. You will see it in the course throughout the length of the course that prime numbers are going to come up a lot. Uh, and many theorems are going to be there and some computations are also going to be important. And they all have application not only in number theory, but also in electronic communication, more particularly when you try to encrypt uh, messages, prime numbers will come up as a natural way to do that. So what is a prime number? So let's look at the definition. So a prime number is an integer and we call it that a prime number if it has exactly two positive divisors. So uh, in this case, this is maybe a little bit different from a definition that maybe you uh, know from prime numbers that is divisible by one in itself. I want to look at this definition because I think this is a little bit more precise in terms of the fact that uh, it's going to exclude the number one from being a prime because we don't want to do that. And we will explain that later why. And the second part is we're going to say that something is composite. So we have a uh, an integer that is non-zero. If it has more than po two positive divisors, then we will call it a composite number. Now, I also want to may uh, point out that I don't include the number zero for a reason that I'm going to show you in a second. So prime number is, uh, just to recall, a number that has exactly two positive divisors and a composite number non-zero is that has more than two. Now, under this definition, the following numbers are neither prime nor composite. So zero is neither prime nor composite because zero has an infinite number of divisors. Uh, and the reason for that is because think about uh, any number, any natural number, divide zero. So one divide zero, two divide zero, so it has an infinite number of divisors. So we're not going to consider that a prime number, of course, and it has too many divisors too. Think about it as a composite number. So we're going to exclude that from the definition. Now, one has exactly one positive divisor, which is one. So that's why it's not a prime number. And it's neither composite because it doesn't have more than two. And similarly for negative one. So zero, one, and negative one are considered neither prime nor composite. So I want to get that out of the way. So these are like a special cases, basically. Uh, from now on, when we say prime number, we mean positive prime number. So the reason for that is because if you have a positive prime number, you just negate that and you will get a negative prime number. So it's, it's enough to study just the positive prime numbers. That would be enough. Now, this is a chart that I actually uh, had in another video, and I'm going to put that in the uh, video description, the link to that video. And also in the upper right corner, if you want to click on that video to see what the video uh, talks about this chart. So this chart basically is you have here the first uh, the first column, this first column here, where we have the numbers from 1 through 16. And then the second column is the number of divisors of that number. So 1 has 1 divisor, 2 has 2 divisors. Now remember the prime numbers uh, per our definition is going to be the ones that have exactly 2 positive divisors. In this case, then there will be two has two positive divisors. Uh, three will also have that. Five has two positive divisors, seven, 11, 13. And that's it in this list. So those are going to be the uh, prime numbers from one through 16. And one is not considered a prime number because it has only one positive divisor. So this is a few prime numbers. Um, from the ones we had in the in the previous uh, slide. Uh, so 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, and of course there are more prime numbers. Um, 
Now, as I mentioned, you can get a list of prime numbers using PathyGP, so the online calculator we discussed about earlier. And the way to do that is you're going to issue the command primes, and inside this parenthesis here, you're either going to put a number or you're going to put a range of numbers. So you can also get a prime between certain range. And I will show you that in the GP calculator. I'll give you the uh, list of the prime numbers. I want to point out something in Party GP calculator. So if you look here, what it says, once you load the program, it says Party prime limit, and in this case is 500,000. That means that Party GP has a store all the primes less than or equal to that number. Now that could be a limitation, but if if you want, you can add to that list. So it's possible to add primes that are known to that list. So party GP has a little bit more primes. So what I'm going to show you is here uh, the commands of getting list of prime numbers using uh, party GP. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to type primes. And inside the parentheses, what you want to do is when I put the uh, an integer there, which is going to be the number of primes that you want in that list. So let's say, for example, I want the first 100 prime numbers. I just press enter there, so that will give me the list of the first 100 prime numbers. You can also do something like that, like, for example, a thousand prime numbers, and that will give you the long list of the first thousand prime numbers uh, that there are. Now, if you want the prime numbers between a certain range, like for example, let's say you have you want the prime numbers between let's say six and and two hundred, you can also do that exactly with the same command. So let's say for example you want the primes, open parentheses and the brackets, and inside the brackets you're gonna put the range in which you want the prime numbers. So let's say you want the prime numbers between four and let's say uh, twenty, and so once you type that, then you press enter, and it will give you the prime numbers between uh, 4 and 20. So this is a way in which you can get the list of prime numbers uh, using the party GP. Of course, you can go larger than that, assuming that you just ask for the prime numbers less than the prime limit that the GP calculator has. Now, not only you can do that in the GP calculator, you can also get a list of prime numbers just by looking at the website that is there. Um, I'm going to put that link in the video description. So this website has a list of several uh, sub lists of prime numbers. So for example, if you want to get the, prime, the first million of prime numbers, so 10 million and so on, you can download that from there. It's a text file, so you can download and you look, can look at that at those lists. Now, the largest known prime number to date, to date is May 2020 is this one. Now, when I say the largest known prime number, it means that a human being with the help of a calculator has actually checked that this number is prime. Of course, there are numbers, prime numbers that are a lot larger than this one, but this is the largest that has been checked. So this is the largest that has been checked so far. Now, that number is quite big. It has a, a little be less than 25 million digits and i want to give you an idea on how large this number is so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to give you an animation of the first 2528 digits of that number and every digit is going to be color
So that sort of gives you an idea on how big this number actually is. So this is a large number. Let me give you another way to think about how large this number is. Now, if you if every digit is about five millimeters or 0.19 inches, which is about the average size of someone is writing. So if you think about it, that's just not too big. So let's say you want to write down this number. Each digit is going to have that kind of length. Then that number would be about 77 miles long or 124 kilometers, which is a quite long uh, length if you consider that. So let me give you an idea on how big that is. Now that circle that you see right there, that is centered at the Statue of Liberty and it covers basically all the city of New York and really big part of Long Island, as you can see there. The radius of that circle is the prime number I talked about. When you uh, write every number about the size of a handwriting. So that's how big the prime number is. Now, if you want to get a list of the large prime numbers by year, you can visit that link that is you see there. And I'm going to put that link also in the video description so you can see by year what, are, what is the largest prime number in the sense that it has been checked by a human with the help of a computer. Now, just not to give you the wrong idea, the list of prime number is infinite. So there is, there is no largest prime number. Known prime number, largest non prime number makes sense, but largest number, prime number does not. And the list of prime numbers is infinite, and that theorem is due to Euclid. That is really um, an old theorem, 300 BC. And this statement says that there are infinitely many prime numbers. Now, we will talk about this theorem in another video. So we'll uh, do the proof of this video, a little bit of history about how. Uh, this uh, theorem came about. And that's actually all I have to say for today. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Take care and good luck.